Okay, today we're going to go through and create a roof plan for a shed drawing. And the first thing I want to do is over my project browser, I want to find my roof plan. If you don't have one created already, what we're going to do is use level 2 as our roof plan, since there is no actual level 2. So I can right click on level 2 and rename this to roof. It asks me if I want to rename the corresponding levels and views and I'll say yes. Now if I double click on roof you'll notice this is what I see. Right now as I put my cursor over top of the roof you can see that it highlights the roof. And what's happening is if you remember talking about cut planes with the floor plan, the floor plan is cutting four feet above the floor level and then looking down. Right now the way this is set up it's doing the same thing. So they're coming four feet off of the bottom level of the roof, going four feet up cutting it and then looking down. The problem with this is we don't see the top part of the roof. It's actually cut in half. So what I want to do first is go through and adjust my view range. So on my properties I scroll down through until I find view range and click edit And I get this little dialog to pop up. And my associated level at the top, I'm going to make that, I'm going to try 24 feet. My cut plane, I'm going to make that 22 feet. And I'm just picking numbers that I'm sure are going to be up above the roof. And I'll say apply and now you can see the entire roof. Alright, so I'm going to say OK. And right now, if I come down here, this is set to hidden line. And I can still see the stuff underneath. So I want to check to see if I have an underlay. And basically an underlay in Revit is on the properties box for the view. The underlay is basically you can take another level, a different level, and show it underneath the level that you're on. It comes in really handy whenever you're working on a second floor and you can underlay the first floor so you can see where the walls are on the first floor, or stairs, or any other, any other kind of openings. For right now, I'm going to change my underlay to none. I'm going to say apply. Whenever I remove that underlay from this drawing, all I can see now is the roof. And uh, just to break down this roof right now, on the perimeter, this is the edge of our roof. And then these lines here are all hips. Basically as a, a hip roof or a pyramid roof with four different hips coming to a peak right in the middle. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to change my visual style from hidden line to wireframe. Whenever I do that, now all of a sudden I can see the walls underneath. So basically what I did with this roof is I kind of made it invisible that you can see through it by changing it to wireframe. I can only see the lines that make it up. It doesn't appear as a solid object. And I do that so that I can see my walls. Traditionally whenever we do a roof plan what you see are the walls underneath the roof but they show up as hidden lines. And whenever we look at hidden lines 
whenever we see hidden lines on the drawing, what they say to me is, hey, these lines are here. There's something here, but I can't see them because something else is over top of them. It's just a way of showing something, being able to show something there whenever it's covered up by something else. All right, so the next thing I want to do, I, I don't want these walls to show up how they are showing up right now. So I'm going to come in here to my visibility graphics on the properties bar, and I'm going to click edit. And under here, in my roof plan view, I don't want any of this, this stuff showing. So I'm going to select everything and I'm going to uncheck it. Now if I do that, I'm going to slide it over here and hit apply, everything disappears because I just turned everything off. So I do want a couple things to show. So as I scroll down through, I'm going to find the most important thing for a roof plan, the roofs. So I click that and I say apply. As I slide that over, now I have my roof back. I want my walls to show up, but I don't want them to show how they were showing up. I want them to show up hidden. So I'm going to click on walls, and whenever I select them, now I can look at the lines category, and I can do an override. And I'm going to look at my pattern, and I'm going to choose hidden. I say OK, I hit Apply, and now I can see those as hidden lines. At this point I'm going to say OK. The only thing wrong with this drawing at this point is it's showing me any openings, doors, windows, and I don't necessarily want to see the openings on this plan. So the way that I can take care of that is on my properties bar, I can come down here to my depth clipping. Right now it's selected to no clip. I'm going to open that up, and I'm going to choose this clip without line. I'm going to say OK, and those disappear. Right now, everything is looking good except for on this wall, I have a door showing up there. So that might not be a problem with the roof plan, it might be a problem with the door. So if I go to my 3D view, so I can see what's going on with that door, if I click on it, you can see that the door is too high. Right now, that door, the head height is 8 feet 9, so it's actually going up through part of the roof. And that's why we're seeing it. So I'm just going to simply edit the type. I'm going to do a duplicate. And I'm going to make this... 12, 12 W, 12 foot wide, by 7 feet high for a traditional door. A traditional door would probably be uh, 9 feet wide as opposed to 12, but we're going to leave that at 12. So I renamed it, and down here, I'm going to make the height 7 feet, and I'm going to say OK. And you can see that brought my door down below the roof line. So if we go back to our roof plan, now you can see that it disappeared. One reason that I like to do this show my walls on my roof plan is so that I can come into my annotation and I can choose aligned and I'm going to pick the wall edge and the roof edge 
and I'm going to throw in a dimension there. And I'm probably going to do it in two locations. And now, very quickly, I can look at my drawing, my roof plan, and I can see what my overhang height is. How f or not my height, but how far my roof overhangs my walls. At this point, I could come all over to my sheets. I could do a new sheet. I'm going to choose the 11 by 17 and this new sheet. I'm going to rename to A400. And I can rename it to Roof Plan. And then I could come over here and I could drag my roof view onto the roof plan. The other alternative I have is I could look at my floor plan sheet. And I'm going to real quickly go through this floor plan, adjust my crop box. So that it isn't so large. And for some reason it's showing up bigger than what it is. I'm going to bring that in a little bit. Uncheck that. Leave my crop view on. And go back to my sheet. And now I can move this around without that extra stuff being in the background. So the whole point is you do not have to use an A400 roof plan sheet you don't have to add that if your roof plan will fit on this drawing. And right now this needs some work as well, so I can just real quickly go through here. Modify my crop region. Bring it in a little bit closer. Make it invisible. And go back to my A101. And now I can move this around. Stretch this over to make it a little bit smaller. Bring it up here with my drawing. And there's my roof plan. Right now, this roof plan is at a scale of an eighth of an inch, and my floor plan is a scale of a quarter inch. If I really wanted to, if I could not fit this any other way, I could leave this at an eighth inch. It's not showing much detail, so I don't need it to be at as, as at a large scale like my floor plan. But if it would fit, it would be better to have it at the same scale as your floor plan. So I'm going to give that a shot. I'm just going to nudge it down. Nudge this one over. Bring this back up here.
and that's about perfect.